Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you can take a sort of picture like this and make something interesting out of it. It's a bit dull if this, the light on this just doesn't work. But we can play with it and we can, one of the ways we can do that is look for patterns and patterns and textures and all sorts of other things that you might want to use um, in graphics or as a background or something like that can be made from all sorts of pictures. And all we need is to go to Filters, Distort and Mirror. And already it looks like it's sunk underwater and that's one of the things effects you can do with Mirror. But we're going to try cranking up this. And as you see, as it, the number of Mirror goes up, it starts going around in patterns and you've got like a kaleidoscope effect and you can create all sorts of interesting things. The colours in this though are a bit dull, aren't they? So let's try and brighten the colours up first. A way to do that is with HSL. And if we just turn the saturation right up, that gives us lots of colours. And it could be a bit brighter, so turn the luminosity up until you've got something that looks pretty nice about halfway up or so. That's, that seems about OK. Lots of colour in this. And uh, you can keep that, or you can just hit Merge, because we're not going to change this again in this this demo. Now, let's go back to those mirrors. Filters, Distort, and Mirror. And as we turn the mirrors up, we get interesting things. And there you are, around about four, we've got a square effect here. Let's apply that for the moment. And we can now do things with it. So we can turn it into a flying carpet. Get the move tool, got little X's around the outside, which means we need to turn the padlock off there. Now I can manipulate it and I can bring it down into here and go alongside the dot until I've got the left, white, right arrows and tilt it across like that and then make it shorter like that so you've got a bit of perspective on it. And now we can turn that into a flying carpet. We could put somebody on it, we could put mountains or something behind, put tassels, etc., on it. Won't do it now because it'll take a while, but you can see the sort of things we can do. Let's do a bit of undoing back to where we were before. There we go. Now let's go filters, distort and mirrors again. And if we go up with this, um, one of the things you can do with this, with this as well is to try turning the input. Because you turn the input around, look at the different effects you got. You're like you're putting it into completely different filters there. So you could turn, you could take the centre of that sort of thing and turn it into, you know, a logo of some sort. Yeah, look at that. That could be a, a company logo of, of a, a festival or something like that. It's really lots of fun that you can create with this. Or you can just turn things up here and look at the picture there. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That could be like a mandala. Look at the detail in the middle of that. Isn't that great? Just by playing around with mirrors. So there we go. You can use it for all sorts of things and you can just take an, any old picture and make just the amazing patterns. Or you can just have fun. Do you remember when you were a kid you had had those, those things with mirrors down tubes and you twist it around with the kaleidoscope patterns. Here yeah, you can do it. Five minutes, just have some fun. Or even do it for a real purpose. Gosh. Anyway, enjoy yourselves and thank you very much for watching.